What's going on guys? My name is Tefsy Teft and welcome to another Planet Destiny gun review. Today I've got a maxed out Vanquisher 8 that I purchased directly from the new Monarchy vendor. I'll also be taking a look at the damage ratings pre and post patch 1.1.1. Cosmetically it's got a reddish orange finish with the new Monarchy 3 slash logo on the side. The description reads, Executor issued auto rifle for loyal supporters of the new Monarchy. In this review I'll be specifically talking about the variant that is sold in the tower. You can obtain random alternate variants from Nightfalls, Vanguard packages, Engrams, and of course, new Monarchy packages. First I'm going to talk about the perks, and then get into the pros and cons of the actual weapon. First up, we have Spray and Play. Increases the reload speed of this weapon when its mag is empty. Normally, I'd be less excited to see this perk on an auto rifle. However, the mag size is 22, which makes this perk very useful. Next we have Glass Half Full. Bottom half of each magazine causes additional damage. Once again, the small magazine size lends itself to this perk. Keep in mind, the final bullet will only get an additional 6% damage boost. And now we have the sights. Steady Hand IS. Iron Sights, fastest reload speed. Red Dot, ORS1, best stability, scope is a bit bulky. Ranged Lens RLS3, excellent range, decent recoil control, heavy and slow. In my personal opinion, I did not like the Steady Hand IS for some reason. I felt like the recoil was harder to manage overall. My personal favorite was the Red Dot ORS-1, even though the field of view was a little obscured from the bulky square glass housing of the scope. Second tier options offers high caliber rounds. Oversized rounds built to stagger targets and leave them reeling. Also adds additional camera shake in PvP. Fitted stock increases weapon stability and is my personal favorite. Single point sling. Switch weapons faster, move quicker while aiming. Let's talk some numbers. 331 damage pre-patch Vanquisher 8 body shots scored 142 and criticals 353. Post-patch 1.1.1 body shots scored 123 and criticals 306. That's a significant reduction at 13.3%. Bungie stated it was going to be an average of 2.5% for auto rifles depending on the impact and rate of fire. Unfortunately, 13% is a drastic drop. Here's an Abyss Defiant post-patch. Body shots scored 98 and criticals 245. Abyss Defiant Focus Fire Body Shots scored 131 and criticals 326. Pre-patch Vanquisher PvP Body Shots scored 22 and criticals 27. Post-patch PvP Body Shots scored 19 and criticals 23. You'll need to land about 8 to 10 shots on average to take down a Guardian. Prior to the patch, it was 7 to 9 shots on average. While 13% seems drastic, in reality Bungie nerfed the damage by one extra bullet for PvP, which honestly isn't that bad. Personally, I like the Vanquisher. It handles extremely well and when combined with fitted stock you can achieve a very stable auto rifle with high impact damage. Spray and play and glass half full are actually useful perks. Even with the recent nerf, the gun is still an excellent tool to use in the Crucible. What I don't like about this gun is the low magazine size. Spray and play helps alleviate that somewhat, but 22 bullets is a small mag for an auto rifle. I don't find myself noticing this problem in the Crucible so much, but for PvE it's noticeable. Not to say that this gun isn't good for PvE, because it works fine. While Glass Half Full gives you extra damage, you need to make sure you're emptying your entire magazine every time to take advantage of it. The small magazine size helps us out, but I don't find myself noticing that last 6% damage boost really making a big difference. In comparison to Abyss Defiant, I think Vanquisher takes a slight lead in PvP. You get a bit more range and its perks lend themselves to PvP encounters, while Abyss Defiant's perks, specifically Lich Bane, is better suited for PvE encounters. With that said, both are great in PvP and PvE, but given the choice, I'd pick the Vanquisher for PvP and Abyss Defiant for PvE. If you're looking for a reliable auto rifle for the Crucible that can be purchased in the tower right now, then I'd definitely recommend the Vanquisher. It'll set you back 150 Crucible marks and accommodation at the new Monarchy vendor. It's going to take a few weeks for things to settle down and see if auto rifles have been officially knocked off the totem. Personally, I think it's a step in the right direction to a truly balanced playing field. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Subscribe to Planet Destiny if you haven't yet and slap the like button for this video. You could also help me out by subscribing to my channel, Tefty Tef Games. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, guys. Peace.